What's up guys, this is my first copy trading in Forex. The Forex broker I'll be using is called Winsaw and they have been around for the past 30 years. I'll show you guys the whole process from funding my account to looking for the right trader to copy and I'll also be sharing my results with you guys. Now, Winsaw also has a competition ongoing right now. You can win Camry, you can win trip to Nairobi, you can win Apple Gears and so many other things. So if you are a pro Forex trader, it's a good opportunity for you to test out the platform and possibly win some of these prizes at the end of the competition. I will share more details with you at the end of this video. But right now, let me show you how to copy a trader on Winsaw. So first thing you have to do is to create an account with Winsaw. Make sure you make use of the link in the description to maximize your incentives. Now, once you have created an account, this is how it's going to look. I can, you can see here in this particular account, I have $234. If I go to payment here, you will see that I have $234 in this account and $200 in this account. Now I can create more accounts. I can have up to five accounts. Let me start with depositing more money to show you guys how to deposit money on Winsor. And by the way, Winsor also has app on Android and on iOS. So you can actually download this app and use it instead of using the desktop mode as I'm using right now. So to make a deposit, you just click on deposit here. Now there are several ways for you to deposit. You can use e-payments, you can use back transfer. Now if in this payment section, if you want to, you can deposit with your card using this method. You can deposit um, with your card. Of course, it's a USD card, MasterCard or Visa card. You can deposit in Skrill, you can deposit using Neteller, you can deposit using Ziki Pay. Now, when you are doing the one for Ziki Pay, you can deposit in cryptocurrency. So the money I deposited earlier here, you, you see the other $200 that I deposited here, I use cryptocurrencies to deposit USDT. But in this case, I want to deposit using the bank transfer. That is if you're in Nigeria, right? So I'm going to click on this particular one and I want to deposit another $100. So you can see the cost here is going to cost me 93,000. I'll click on continue. I'm going to click on submit. So this is being processed using Cora pay deposit 93,000. Okay. Um, I understand. So it shows me this bank to make my deposit into. So I'm going to go ahead and make a bank transfer to this bank is where my bank. Okay, success. So it has been successfully deposited. I'll just wait for the money to reflect here. I may click on this payment to see if it's on the other account. Okay, it hasn't reflected here. I'll just wait. Now, if you have happened to have um, any issue at any time, you can just click on this support here to chat them up or open a ticket or visit the help center if you have any challenges with regards to maybe your payment or your withdrawal process you can also click on this contact here to um you know give them a call okay i just refreshed and saw that my account balance has increased i was actually trying to contact the customer support but there's no need to, to do that so this took about five minutes if you're using bank transfer it took about five minutes or less for the money to reflect in my account. So I have extra money in my account now. I can go ahead and do my copy trading. Now you can see here, this is the copy trading is new. I'm going to click on it. And if this is your first time, you won't see launch platform. You see create a new account. Now guys, to copy a trader, you can only copy one trader with one account. If you want to copy two traders, you have to create two accounts. If you want to copy three traders, you have to create Three accounts now the account is not like you are going to sign up inside your um windsor dashboard you can have multiple accounts it's just like having multiple wallets where you put money and a copy a trader with that particular uh, money you put there i already have one account but to, I'll, I'll create another one now to show you guys how it's done so i'll click on create a new account currency usd um prime so there are two types of accounts prime and zero a zero account requires to have a minimum balance of $1,000. And it's an account where your fees is only 
is seven dollars per trade so it's, it's for people who are trading very large volume for for the prime account is a normal account your fees are taken in the spread so zero account have no spread you just pay a fixed fee of seven dollars per trade so if you're trading very large amounts it's good for you for but if you're trading with one hundred dollars or even a thousand dollars or below just use the prime account so I'll choose the prime account. I'm going to enter my password. I will accept this and click on create account. So, and I have another account. So if I go to payment here, you can see I have, this is my normal account I can trade with. This is a follower account. I have one follower account, another follower account. In this follower account, I have $200, which I transferred to it before. And this is the one I just created. I have no money here. So I'll go ahead and transfer um, another $200 to this account. So I'll go ahead and click on from my main account to this one that has no money inside. I'll just choose $200. Click on transfer and it's done. So I now have two accounts. If I go to payment now, so you see the two follow accounts, I have $200 here and $200 here. So I'm going to go now back to the copy trading. Okay. I can now click on launch platform. Now, once you are here, forget what you see here. I'll come back to it. Where you go to is ratings, click on ratings. So in the ratings section is where you see the providers. So there are two types of people here. Followers are those that, you know, come here to copy people's trade. Then providers are the master traders that you copy their trades. So you go here now, you can see the providers. These are the traders and you can see their statistics. You can also sort them. There are over 300, you can see 292 providers actively providing trades on Winsor. Now you can sort them out right now. This is number one, number two. So this a kind of rating that Winsor use. I don't know the parameter they use. But you can actually sort them out based on what you want. Do you want to sort them out based on their monthly return, daily return, absolute gain, asset under management, age, followers, and the rest of this? I will explain this to you, but let's leave it the way it is here. Now, if I look at this particular um, trader, I can see this is um, Sasan BBB. I can see some things about him. I can see um, return, monthly return, 1,408%. Today's return is negative 6.56, absolute gain 944%. So absolute gain is, this is his total gain, but absolute gain is his loss minus the gain. So this brought this to the absolute gain to be 944%. So it's actually, he has a net profit of 944%. He has 57 persons following him. Uh, maximum profit is this. The maximum drawdown is 69.23%. Pay attention to this maximum drawdown because um, it's very important when, cho when choosing a trader. This is just like his account has gone down by 69% at a point and still came back. So pay attention to this. Performance fee is how much he collects when you copy his trade. Mind you, he is not he's not taking your money to trade. It's more like your account is mimicking his trade and we saw we then give him 40% because that is what he set here. A provider can set what he wants and you too can decide to become a provider. People will co copy you when you do well. So he has been here for 249 days. Okay, so when looking at these people, see, start, start going through them. See, I pay attention to the maximum drawdown. I don't want to copy a trader with a high maximum drawdown. To me, this is high, but I'm still going to copy this guy. So you can just go ahead and just and just start looking okay what is their return and what is their maximum drawdown if the person is good what can you do like if i look at this particular abuaza right it's rank number 10 today's return is 18 percent he has been here for 120 days his absolute gain is 120 percent which is not bad maximum drawdown 82 percent is too high for me i don't want to copy is trade. I want those that don't have a, a high maximum drawdown. And another thing I'm looking at is see the slope of this particular chart. See how it slopes upward. 
I want traders that have that kind of slope. These are more like the drop down when they have losses. So I want traders that have a, a relatively smooth slope. Like this, this particular has a smooth drop. So they drop down here, 50%, 55% maximum drawdown. So let me look for like this particular guy, Jacob, right? It has 36.18% maximum drawdown. So I can just, just mark him. I can mark him here. I've actually marked him before. I can favorite him. So I can put him, I can add it to my watch list. So I'll add it to my watch list. Okay, I just look for more persons that I think um, I could copy. Um, this guy, this return, absolute gain, 300 or something days. Okay, I can say, let me add it to my watch list. So you can just look at the traders and look at their statistics and add them to your watch, to watch list. You can go to the next page and keep on doing the same thing. Then, um, when you now have a trader, this one has just been here for three days, I can add it to my watch list. So when you're selected traders, you can you think that, okay, they are what copying. Like I, want, I only want to copy two traders, right? I will not go to my watch list now, click on watch list, right? So these are all the traders that I've added to my watch list. I can then start doing um, analysis on them one by one. And how do I do that? I can click on provider profile now. I will not get more details. Let's start with this right hand column. Equity is $44,493. So he is trading with $44,000. Means a big trader. Then AUM is asset under management. So everybody copying him all together have an equity of $48,709. This is the total amount of all those who are copying him. This 57 person copying him have this amount of money they're copying him with together. He's been trading for 249 days. Performance, you of course have stated this. A minimum balance where they are, the trader is meant to enter the minimum balance you can copy them with, but they did not enter this here. Volatility ratio and all these other things, you can see them here. You can also go ahead and click on total return. Um, return for today is negative for today. Of course, his trades might still be open. Absolute gain is all his profit minus, minus all his losses will give you the absolute gain and number of followers. And if you go under trading, or you can check what he has done in the past three months, past one month, past one week, or everything is here. If you click on trading, it will give you more statistics. It can even give you daily statistics or about his performance. If you click on instrument, you can see the instrument he trades, Euro, USD, storage, US 100. These are everything that he trades. You can also see the best trade he has and the worst trade he has, and a lot of statistics are here. Equity, you can see it here. History is the trades he has closed. So I'm filming this video on the 8th of September. You can see he has made, um, Trades here that open this. He has all these trades open. He has not closed them. So the ones that he has closed, you will see the profit beside it. So he closed this trade in seven hundred dollar profit, seven hundred dollar profit, and three hundred forty one dollar profit. So he has it's it's pretty good. So um, this is the information about this particular trader. So how do I then copy him? Okay, I just come here and click on copy. But I am already copying him, so I'll go back and continue from where i stopped but i will come back to this particular point when i'm copying in the next trader okay okay so back to watch list there is another trader this jacob i think i like his trades i will go ahead and copy him but these are other great guys right even though they are just this is just 19 days but they're pretty good so i want to copy this jacob so i'm going to click on provider profile i've done this same analysis on him and i think he's good I also like the fact that his maximum drawdown is just 36 um, percent and he's trading with an equity of two thousand dollars and nobody is copying him right now so if i copy him i'll be his first follower i'll go ahead and click on copy the one thing you have to note is the account you copy a trader with before so you don't go and copy two traders with the same account of course that shouldn't work anyway but let me go and make sure that so I'm copying the other trader with 8825, this account. So I want to copy this trader with this particular account. The provider is Jacob and his performance fee. In other words, it takes 35% of whatever he makes for you. I'll go ahead and click on create. So once this is done, 
I'm not copying it straight first. So I'm just following him right now. So I have to set parameters to be able to copy straight. Now, what are the parameters I'm going to set? First is provider filter. Then you have subscription strategy. You have correction and risk management. You don't have to set everything. Just set the basic ones. Okay. So if you start with provider filter, you click on edit. You, have, you can only copy his buy trades or copy his sell trades or copy all of them. I choose to copy all of them. Then you can set your minimum lot size and maximum lot size. If you wanted to differ from what his own is, you can just set it that way. But I don't want to set this. I'm just going to leave it and click on save to save this to all. Now, subscription strategy, I'll click on it. So there are two types. You have multiply and you have auto scale. So multiply is this. Whatever is happening in his account, I want it multiplied in my account by one or by two or by 0 0.5. Just put in the parameter you want. So whatever is happening in this account, if he's trading with a particular lot size, yours is divided by two if you're using 0 0.5. The copier's volume is equal to the provider's volume multiplied by this multiplier. So whatever his volume is, if you multiply it by 0 0.5, that is going to be your volume. Of course, you should have that amount of money in your account. If you choose to, it means that whatever is trading with, you are trading with two times of that. If you choose one, Whatever he's trading with, you are trading with one time, the same thing he is trading. Okay. So now if you don't want to use this, you use auto scale, which is what I'm going to use. Auto scale is just simply saying that the amount he's trading with proportionate to the amount I'm trading with is what our volume is going to be. I don't know if, it's, I don't know if that makes sense. So let's say he has um, $2,000, which he has, and I have um, $200. So if he trades with $20, I'll be trading with what? $2 because his, his money is 10 times my money. If he's trading with $100 and I'm trading with $10, this is what that means. So your, your volume and the trader's volume is proportionate with regards to his equity and your equity. That's what that means. And you can also add a multiplier here. You can choose to like multiply, even though it's proportionate, you can still choose to increase whatever you are copying is straight by two or, or, or less. Okay. So once you're done here, you click on save or even auto skill. Then correction parameter. This is more like um, you are choosing the maximum volume you are copying each trade with. You can choose to set it here, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. Then risk. You can enter risk management here. So the first one is parameters. This is total loss. So what it means that if this trader have a total loss of this, I can choose to stop copying the trade. That's what risk management here is. Or if he has a total profit of this, then close this trade. So you are saying that, okay, if you had made this amount of money, close the trade. Okay. Or you can choose to say if he has a floating loss of this. So total loss and floating loss are different. Total loss is the loss that I've enclosed. We are sure you have lost this money. Floating loss is a trace that are still open. So you are saying that if this loss is incurred in the open trades, then you know, can choose to say um, close this particular trade. So let's stick with floating um, loss. So let's say since he has a maximum drawdown of 30 something percent, let me use this as $100 since I, am, I have $200 in that account. For subscription action, I can choose to keep. In other words, keep means that um, I should stop copying his trades, but the ones that I've already copied that is still in floating loss, I should leave it the way it is. And it's, it's meant to close when he closes them. But other ones, I should stop copying his trade for subsequent ones. That's what it means. Whenever it closes the trade, it will also close. So suspend means that um, stop coming, copying the trades and hand over the trades to me. I will do the rest of the things myself. Unsubscribe means that you should totally just unsubscribe from the provider altogether. I'm going to leave this as keep. Take actions. So taking actions is that keep all means, you know, once this happens, I can keep all the trades that are in floating loss and whatever action, and stop copying other ones, whatever action it takes, takes on, on happens on mine on the trades that I stay on. 
close all he's saying, just close all the trades, both in profit and those in loss. Um, close unprofitable, it means um, the ones that are, if my floating loss is say below $100, you close the trades that are more in the negative and leave the trades that are more in the positive so that those ones can stay close in, in profit. Then close all unprofitable trades. In that, close all the ones that are, now, that are unprofitable and still leave the profitable one open. I'm going to choose um, keep all. Click on create. So since I've done all this, the next thing I'm going to do is to come to action and click on activate. And I can choose provider's current position. It means that whatever position is on now, I can still go and copy them or I choose ignore. Ignore means whatever position that is open right now, just leave it. Copy the ones, the subsequent ones that he, he opens. So I click on activate and I am in this trade. So I can come back here and keep on monitoring and seeing what he's doing. I am now copying these traders. So if I come here, I can see copied position, fees paid, trading profits and all that. So if I go back to subscription, I can see I'm subscribed to Jacob and Sasan. So I'm not copying Sasan trades, it's on pause. So I'm gonna go up to, to his trade and also activate all these things. I think I've done this stuff. So I just go ahead and click on action, activate, and I'm copying his trades as well. So if I go back to my subscription, you can see I'm now copying these two traders um, with $200 of my account each. So if you want to copy more traders, you just like go ahead and open more accounts and copy more traders. So this is a copy trade. Okay, now let me talk about a challenge that is happening on Winsaw where you can win a lot of prizes. It is called the Ultimate Master Challenge. Trade your best and win a brand new car and other incredible prizes. To do that, sign up to Winsaw with the link in the description make sure you use that link and when you do that you fund your account with a minimum of 200 dollars and trade to have the highest percentage return on capital until the 30th of september of 2023 the first place takes home a 2020 toyota camry second place five days travel tour to nairobi it's a wonderful city i've been there third place an apple macbook air 2020 4 to 10 place we win and phones and tablets so guys it's this simple now let me give you a secret to be able to ramp up your trade volume and win some good prizes it is called compounding so if you're able to compound you can start with a small money deposit 200 dollars just risk small money once you win you compound your winning as you compound it what happens your volume grows if you do that you can actually end up having the highest percentage return on capital and win these wonderful prizes even though you're trading with just very little money so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in the next one